Hi there. We uh, bought a little microphone to, hope with, uh, to help with voiceovers. We're hoping that the sound will be a little bit more consistent. So we have this tiny little microphone. I wanted to make it a boom mic. <laughs> I think it should work and hopefully help. Hopefully make it. We have the air conditioner on, so hopefully uh, you can hear us. Yes. So we just wanted to sit down and do a little update, and then we have some um, unboxing. Sue from Washington sent me some more boxes, and then I have a huge box. It says donuts on it, and I'm hoping there's donuts, but <laughs> there probably won't be. But we have a big box of friend mail to open up as well. So Jimmy has some notes and some highlights. Before I forget, I will be on Cat the Nurse Flippers uh, live channel on Tuesday, July 12th. So make sure that you tune in to see me and the guest, which I forget right now, but I will put it uh, closer we get to July 12th. I am going to uh, let you know who the other guest is. Okay. I forgot. Or maybe I can add it below. I'll add it below. <laughs> I will look it up. So, um, so some upcoming events and trips. Um, I think we're going to do um, a canoe and always thrifting trip in, um, in Maine in October or November. Yeah. Um, of course, we're going to be going up to the, the campground uh, as much as we can uh, up until then and after then. But um, uh, but that's it. That's just really the only major thing as far as yeah, big trips. trips yeah. uh, up just, at our camper, we were in one campsite for six years. Yeah, about six years. And we were kind of cooler weather campers, so we usually went up in the spring and in the fall and winter. And we've been trying to get up there more often. And then when we're up there more often, people are there. And then we realize when people are on either side of us, when they're out in, like our neighbor behind us, when they're out enjoying their campground, they're like right behind us. Right. And it's, it's we can't open the windows right. and we feel the dogs are barking. It's a tight, tight squeeze. So yeah. we actually got moved to a bigger place in the same campground, yeah. but we'll have more of a little area right. that we're hoping that we can build a, a deck. deck and we're going to video that. And right. just maybe put up, a little, put up a little shed, um, mm -hmm. uh, nothing fancy, but like one of those little snap together sheds to like put some, some tools and stuff. Um, and also, um, we have to build a fire pit. Yeah. Um, Definitely. And also, oh, and also maybe like um, uh, a little uh, like uh, stand to hold like firewood that can that can dry out. So we're hoping to um, to bring you along for some of these little um, improvements. Our little acre. It's yeah, not an acre, no, but no. it's no, it's, it's small, yeah. but it's still, but it's bigger than where we were. Yeah. And um, if people are there when we're there, we won't be like, "Hi, what's for dinner?" Right? So, yeah, you're <laughs> they're, all yeah. they're facing the opposite of us. So and, and also, there was a tree um, which was nice for shade, um, but it did dump a lot of, of stuff. And it was always always tough to, to get back into our campsite. And and when we got back from our Arkansas Oklahoma trip, uh, we got back like just when it was turning dark, and that was a real challenge. And, and the, our new spot, which is bigger, of course, like Dagny said, uh, it's also easier to, to, it's much more wide open to back right in and pull right out. So that's uh, so that's exciting. Um, also just touching, I know we, we got into them there for a little bit. Um, we, uh, we, did some, we, did, we did some storage units, you know, a few months back, and that's something that um, we haven't forgot about. Um, but I know Dagny uh, gets a lot of comments in her videos <laughs> about, you know, why didn't you buy this? Well, unfortunately, we have a bunch of stuff, and we don't have a very big... Um, Inventory uh, space. Right, right. So we're hoping um, times are crazy right now in 2022, as far as the housing market. So we're hoping in 2023 that we can get something where we can grow the business, something where, um, you know, if I... Uh, want to pick up more storage units, you know, I can do it and have a place to go with it and a place to organize, you know, what she's selling on eBay and maybe what we're going to the, take to the flea market, which we've done a few times, but it was just, once again, we just, we're struggling with, um, space for that stuff, space for just my being stuff organized. And space for, we're not sure about. Right. Cause we just have stuff, uh, kind of everywhere <laughs> and it, we don't have, a place to organize because we just don't have that big of a, of a property right now. Um, so we're hoping um, in 2023, uh, kind of the business plan is to get something that's more conducive to home life and to grow the business because the potential is there. Uh, we just don't have you know, yeah. the available space. And, and Dagny would like to buy everything that she sees in her videos. And, and people probably think, why did you not buy that? We just can't just buy everything. Yeah. We have to be calculated on, you know, well, can we fit more stuff and, and how much of a... Can I put that stack of dishes somewhere? Right, yeah. <laughs> can we have less Do we really room? need to sit on the sofa? Right, right. <laughs> so it's that bad. No, but, it, but, it, but we are. We have a huge inventory. And, uh, and believe me, we want it to be bigger. 
we just don't have space. Where but we're in the future, at. we're hoping to have like a garage or an yeah. outbuilding or a full or basement. Full basement that can strictly basement. for the, strictly be for the for the uh, for the business. Yep. I mean, because um, it's it's there, it's yep. there to be had. So um, just have to wait for the housing market to calm down. Right, and also we've gotten a few uh, comments about uh, where Penelope has been, <laughs> and Penelope is currently. Uh, in Arkansas. Yeah, in Arkansas on vacation visiting relatives. Uh, Arkansas is the, the Razorback state, uh, but all kidding aside, um, we've just been so busy and sometimes we kind of get, we kind of We did bring her. her to Oklahoma. I did. We did. And I did, there was a shot of her on Instagram that you had to kind of like, where's Waldo, find Penelope. So we right. did bring her on the road trip, but right. then um, she didn't make a lot of... She stayed in the car a lot. Maybe it was too hot. Yeah. <laughs> but I, um, she's still here. She's yeah. in the other room on top of the bookcase yep. there. And, and, so. and you'll see her back. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's a lot of things to, <laughs> that, that, that mostly Dagny, but that we're juggling as far as, um, you know, the eBay and the YouTube and, and, and shopping. A and it's a good juggle. It's, it's not a bad juggle. And then thinking about how we can move to the next step as far as a bigger property mm -hmm. or, a, a, you know, something that we can be more organized and and do better at what we're doing. We have... Oh, July 1st will be a year of doing YouTube, and it's yes. been going so fast. Yeah, so is. that's very exciting, and I hit my goal of 25,000 subscribers before that, I think a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah, a couple. Yeah, ago, I think two maybe? weeks ago you hit twenty five thousand. That was pretty. And, and thank you very much for all the amazing. all the congratulation comments yeah. in the in the videos. Because I mean, obviously the subscribers they can see how how many subscribers that you have, mm -hmm. and they saw that you went from twenty four nine ninety nine to <laughs> to twenty five k. So that yeah. that's uh, awesome. We appreciate it. Obviously, without everybody out there, uh, we wouldn't be at twenty five thousand. Yeah. So you know, thank our, you very much. Yes, for thank you. And we'll continue to to come up with new content. Obviously, yeah. we have stuff. Uh, plan for canoes. Yeah, and Jenny and, and I just went on a rail trail. Um, they finished a rail trail from uh, um, Turkey Hill Rail Trail in Columbia. Right, it's called a Lower Enola Grade. Okay, and then it Safe Harbor. There's a power plant. Yeah, there's yeah, and there's a dam there. Yeah, and, and there's a huge railroad crossing, right. and they just completed the railroad. The, the, the bridge. Railroad, yeah, into fixing yeah. it up and making it uh, rail trail friendly. And, um, and Jenny and I went and explored that bridge. So, so you'll see that. And we want to ride our bikes. Yeah. So you'll see the video of me and Jenny coming up soon. But um, It's like, really neat. Like we said before, we like being outside, doing outside stuff as a family, getting some exercise. Sometimes it's a little bit hard with the heat and humidity. But um, so just thinking new ways to grow the channel. Yes. Um, and also... Um, Oh, um, the other day when I was uploading a video, and I know that Kat, the nurse flipper, does this. She does, um, I think, all of her videos, or a majority of her videos are premiere videos. So that's when you can upload the video, and it's a pre-recorded video, but then our dogs are playing. Um, <laughs> we might have to pause it here. But... So the other day when I was uploading a video to be scheduled. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, get that. You're going to bump something. Okay, I got it. It's fine. Okay, take three. Now all of the dogs, three out of the four dogs are here. No? Yeah. So, yeah, three of the four are and here. And he's over there scratching. there scratching. Okay, so the other... <laughs> ASMR. Um, the other day when I was uploading a video, I thought about Kat and how she does her videos are premiere. So that would be, I would upload the video and then um, you could, we could do some live chat and watch the video together. And I was wondering if you could let me know in the comments if anyone would be interested and seeing a premiere video. I wouldn't do every video like that, but um, just to set, yeah. stop, stop, just something. Charlie, inside bark. <laughs> okay, they don't want us to talk about this. Um, so if you could let me know in the comments, if you're out of thing. If you let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing a premiere video where we can discuss and talk about the things and things that you saw in the video and do a kind of a live chat for the video. So let me know if that's a good thing. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, doing a live video of me going live makes me a little bit nervous. I think baby steps of doing a premiere video right, of right. talking live with you, live chat, would be the first step of doing that. So let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in seeing. Yeah, that'd be, that could be fun. Yeah. And thank you, uh, everybody, for the support on uh, Dagny's cousin's uh, 
a wooden spoon um, and utensil company in Arkansas. Uh, of course, she made a video about it. It's called a Leaser Wood Company, and there'll be a, be a link in the description. Because um, wedding season's coming. It is. Holidays are coming. And they make great gifts. Mm -hmm. And they really, I mean, I, the people that have that have purchased them, kind of like seeing them through Dagny's video, are super happy with them, uh, whether they bought them for themselves or they did or bought them for, for a gift. Um, so they really are, I mean, they really are, quality is excellent. Yeah. We it's use really ours nice. every day. I use it for our coffee scoop. So Yes, it's really, it's really so thank good. Thank you so, again so, for yep. supporting them, but I will put a link if you missed it the first time. Yes. Because so. they, they're not on social media yet. I've been gently pushing them to get yeah. onto Instagram. It's at least. <laughs> at least on Instagram. So, um, but they, are, they have a shop on Etsy. Yes, they have a shop on Etsy, but, but. Instagram is also fun. So. Okay. And then I guess we'll... So we have uh, three medium flat rate boxes. From Sue. And she's from Washington. She's from Washington. She's the one that sent me a whole bunch of boxes before. And then she also sent me some other boxes. Um, she brought me, she sent me some swung glass vase. Gla she sent me some swung glass vases that I did sell in my shop. I did not record the, the unboxing of those. I just listed them and um, they were beautiful. They've already sold. Um, they were blue and I think green. There's four of them. So I did start to unbox it, right, and then we, you said stop it. <laughs> well, not so much stop it, but, but I know that people enjoy like right. live, like for us to see it for yeah. the first time too. So this is very cute. This is Kitty Cucumber, and I always pick up the Kitty Cucumber figurines when I see them. Um, very easy to spot because they are labeled Kitty Cucumber, and they do sell pretty well. Um, they are made by... It's really neat. <laughs> It's from the 80s, and they are, this one is um, S-C-H-M-I-D. I thought it was a Nesco, it's a Schmidt. And then inside is a little fish inside there. So isn't that cute? That, oh, that is, and it's kind of on the outside, too. Yeah. yeah. And That's Sue, really thank nice. you for packing so wonderfully, because she packed the paper and bubble, and then I reused the big, the, we will put it on that, we'll get it. Um, I reused the bubble and paper again. So it's win-win. So Sue is a former nurse, and she is a retired nurse, and she is downsizing, and so she sends me things, and we write back and forth to each other. So it's kind of like how the fairy godmother pen pal who lives in Washington. Yeah. Ooh, these are some glass posters. These are really pretty. I thought I saw a mark on here. Oh, it's France. It says France. So here are some really pretty glass posters. Perfect for summer something. Okay, pretty. Have a little bow on them. There's one, two, three, four, five. And I do try to have things that when you see in a shopping video, I do like to have the things ready to go in my eBay store that day or within the next day. Now, because there's three boxes, I don't know how soon these will be, so you'll have to keep checking back in my store to see. Flying on the bottom. Wouldn't you, if you could make this, wouldn't you be like, Flying Pig Thrifts made this in yeah. super clear letters? That's yeah. really neat, a little jar. Okay. Jimmy will be the van of whites, right? <laughs> yep. Aww. Oh, that's adorable. There's uh, shakers. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. Owls. You can't go wrong with owls. Look at that. That's cute. <gasps> oh, I like this. And then sometimes she sends me things and she's like, whatever you want to do with it, there's no obligation, which I really love about her, but some things stay on the mantle. Yes. For a little bit. Like this would oh, stay on the mantle. Blue and enjoy, brown. Yeah. I love blue and brown. That's pretty. Now this, I don't, like Jocelyn says, like when it has these two markings, what that is, who makes it, because these usually aren't marked. And some of you are shouting at me right now. When it has these two things, is it American bisque? I'm not sure. But this is a really cool looking duck. I love those colors. Yeah. That is cool. That is really cool. That might stay on our mantle for a little bit. <laughs> that really is neat. Oh, pretty. Oh, I bet this was a night bug. Oh, well, you could probably... Was made in Japan. They had a little section here. I imagine you could buy something like oh, that. Oh, that's pretty. That's really neat. Well, that matches something else she sent me. Oh, that's... Oh, wow. yeah. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. That's going to look pretty lit up. Yeah. That's the, or it's just sitting out. It's pretty. Yeah. A little cut out for a night light. That's really neat. Okay, we are on to box number two. Box number two from Sue in Washington. Yes, she lives in, uh, well, I'm not going to say where she lives in Washington, but she lives in Washington. Yeah. My cousin lives in Washington. Oh. <laughs> That's a protective thing. Yeah. Okay, the bottom. Oh. Oh, it's a cute. 
kitty cat. Who makes this? Oh, it's Okigiri. Oh, that's adorable. That is cute. Yeah, that is really that neat. That is cute. That is really neat. That's cute. And it has a little plastic spout thing oh, yeah. to help protect the, yeah, it's the back of it. There. That's, that's really that's neat. Really cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, and another, oh, that's pretty. Mm. I wonder if this is a hobbyist or, I don't know, it's hard to tell. It's neat. It's like a light, light, greeny, yellow with speckles. Mm -hmm. That's cute, little individual key pot. All right, and now we're on to the last box. Mm -hmm. She had told me that she was sending me tarot cards. And while I don't use tarot cards myself, I know some people do like tarot cards, and I have sold tarot cards in the past. And they usually do sell pretty well. So if you ever come across tarot cards while you're thrifting, I would say pick stop and look them up and pick yeah. them up because um, most people really like them. Oh, that's cute. That's really neat. That's cute. Is it marked Japan on the bottom? Oh, you see it? Can you turn that? Can you turn it Japan? It's an incised mark. Mm -hmm. It's really neat though. Like the colors. <laughs> <laughs> you see people do that. <laughs> yeah. Kids don't fail. Let's see. This is name. Something on name. Is there candle colors? I think they're candle holders. They're neat. Those are neat. They're marked name. They're wooden. No, because it's, oh, here it is. Right there. Cornwall Industries, South Paris, Maine. Oh, South Paris, Maine? South Paris, Maine. Those are very neat. Those are cool. Oh, these are poker chips. Oh, wow. Oh, they're poker chips. Let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, I wonder if they're bacon like poker chips. Oh, those are neat. Oh, are they wood? What are they? What do you think they are? Um, I think they're wood. Some kind of wood? Is it sitting there? <laughs> We're both blind. We're both old and blind. It says unbreakable. Yeah, I think they're wood. I think they're wooden poker chips. They're really neat though. That is neat. Two whites, blue, and red. That's cool with the original box. Mm -hmm. That is. That's played a lot of games, huh? Yes. Yeah. Mm. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz hands. Jazz hands. <laughs> um, gum saver. Oh, and it's a little hand okay. made in Japan. That's cute. <laughs> it's a little hand. That's sweet. Jimmy has a gum parker from when you were little. What yeah. does yours look like? Uh, I think mine, mitt? it's a baseball mitt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> gum saver. <laughs> <laughs> you can reuse it. <laughs> oh, it's a seashell. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, look. Oh, jeez. Okay, so show them this part. Wait, look, I turn around. Look at that. That is that's really. Neat. That's me. It's an ornament. Yeah, it's an ornament. I like that. That's right. I got it. That's, that's true. Oh, you can hang it on the wall. Oh, yeah, you could. Yeah, hang if you have like a wall. beach house oh, or yeah. you just like the beach. <laughs> and it does have a marking here. It, has, it looks like an X or something. Oh, it says 1980. Wow. So that would be someone. I Yeah, someone hopefully will. Lead me to who made that. Look, we're both going off camera. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> no, it's only oh, it's a oh. oh, new in the package. Architecture building blocks okay. from 1998. Learning snacks. It's kind of neat. Like from a museum or something. Margaret Furlong from the heart. Oh, that's cute. It's a little heart. That's sweet. That looks like that. Oh, is that? Oh, th that. This is the same person who made that seashell thing. Oh, it's the nice. same marking. There, I don't even have to do any research. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty. It's and a flower. In, in the, original. the original box. Inspired by Victorian hearts, Margaret created this design to convey love and affection from the heart. That's adorable. That's so sweet. I like how there's no color on it. I know. And I like color. That's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. Do you show the I should have like it. That's pretty with that's the flower. Really that's really interesting. Oh, oh, that's wow. cool. Okay, so this is the back. There's a signature. And look at that. That's, that's right. neat. 
That's really neat. That's cool. That's so cool. Oh, wow. Cute. Oh, that's neat. Oh, that was made in uh, Washington. There's someone's photography. That's a wow. cute little tile. For all the cat lovers yeah. out there, you don't like this. That's really neat. Look and a beautiful that. cat. Yeah, it is a pretty cat. Oh, that is neat. Oh, a lighthouse. The sun catcher. That's really neat. That is cool. Look just, how big it is. It's really big. It blocks my big head. <laughs> <laughs> and we got engaged uh, yeah. at the top of a lighthouse in Cape May, New yeah. Jersey. So we are big fans of, of, light, yeah, of lighthouses. lighthouses yeah. My oh, made in Poland. Oh, this is full of swabbits. Fun fact, I lived five months in Poland. Loved it. Loved every minute of it. Lived with my aunt and uncle. And I actually have been to Boleswabitz, Poland, and it's a pretty, pretty town. All the buildings, the houses are brightly painted. That is really neat. That's neat. That's I beautiful. like that. You can hang it. Yeah, that's really pretty. Oh, look at, oh, that's neat. Look at the converts. Oh, please. That's not the, that's not the tarot cards. Here, open up the bag. Are they recite or plastic? What's going on here? They're just... Look, they're like little clear playing cards. But they're... They might be, but I mean, I don't know how you would play because people could see what you're holding. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Maybe they're, I don't know what they're, I don't know. They're I neat though. I've never oh, seen, yeah. I've never seen that, but there's all of them. That, I've never seen. Yeah. You could see what you're holding. That is true. They're That's really, here. That's really neat. Well, well, we'll get back to you yeah. on this when <laughs> we investigate. <laughs> yeah, because that's really neat, though. That is neat. Are these the tarot cards? You should send that's this funny. It's the last thing that oh, it is the last thing I opened. So these were her husband's. Oh wow! Instruction. The original book. box instructions. And it has the box, and um, I just thought they would be really neat to resell. That's someone who's interested. I never. See, the ones I have seen before are mystical, and um, I don't really know much about tarot cards, but that was neat. We both agreed that um, something different. Um, it says, Native American tarot, all 78 cards feature full color scenes based on Native American symbolism and folklore. Wow. From 1982. Thank you, Sue, for yeah, sending all the treasures. A whole bunch of them, too. Really? Well, there should be 78. It looks like... <laughs> I'll make you count them later. Yes, I'll count them later. <laughs> You're counting cards again. Yeah, again. Thank you, Sue, so much for sending all the goodies to me. And like I said before, they will be um, showing up in the eBay store in the very near future. Except for the couple of items that we really the, yeah, the, that, the that duck, might, yeah, yeah, that might stay on the mantle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll enjoy we'll enjoy them first. Right. Okay. <laughs> So this is the uh, this is the last box from this, this is from Lisa in Iowa. This, and she put a little note on top. And it says Friend mail for Dagny. Friend mail for Dagny. Enjoy. Look at the big box. Okay. Yes. Yes, it is. It really is. So. We've already cut it open. We weren't recording. <laughs> we put it on pause, <laughs> and when I picked it up, and we cut it, we didn't realize we were not recording. And then we were scared we didn't record. YouTube amateurs. <laughs> Professionals. Okay. So she has she has a card, and I would like to read the card out loud because I think it's very sweet. And since we are recording this time. Okay. Yes, that's fine. Dagny, I was traveling earlier this week and visited a Goodwill in Missouri. They were discounting all green tag items at 75% off. My Goodwills at home never do this, and I was so excited to see what I could find. When I saw the stitchery kits, I thought of you immediately and added them to my cart. I had such fun shopping the shelves and could hear your voice and Jocelyn's in my head saying things like, Oh, look at this hobbyist piece. And when I find a sugar and creamer set, I usually pick them up. And... I think there is money to be made here, and on and on. I hope you enjoy unboxing these items I found for you. Feel free to keep, sell, or donate as you see fit. I love watching your videos so much. Thank you for sharing your bright and sunny self with the world. We need more people like you, Daddy. All my best, Lisa. That's very, very kind of you to say. Yeah. I really like the card. It's so sweet. Yeah. Wow. All right. Let's see what she found. Ooh, bright yellow tissue paper. She found, she found this stuff in Missouri, but she she's from Iowa? Yeah. Oh? Yeah. All right. So these were from my personal crafting supplies. I haven't used them in 25 to 30 years, so I thought they needed a new home. Oh, there you go. I do like picking up vintage uh, cross-stitch kits and patterns and stuff. And 75% off at Goodwill, both of these for less than $2.50. Yes, please. <laughs> Oh, yes, dimension kits. Oh, yes, and sunset kits. Yes, very nice. 
Oh, I like how you put a little note on everything. I know, right? <laughs> it's like you're here with us. I know. So we would make room. You could sit right here. Um, I found this carved wooden owl candle holder at a different Goodwill, and I had to pick it up for you. I had a vague memory of watching you and Jocelyn come across a similar piece in a video, perhaps. Anyway, it was an owl and signed by the artist, so it felt meant to be. Okay. Yes, if they're signed, you always pick it up, definitely. Oh, it is. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think, yeah, it is a little candle holder. Oh, yeah. I do like, oh, there, Ricardo. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, that's oh, that is a really nice looking owl. It is. That's cool. A candle holder. That's neat. I like his little look style. Yeah. Vintage Holly Hobby Ginger Jar. Oh. Should be worth more than a dollar I paid for it, right? Yeah. You wow. always say that. Yep, I can <laughs> at least make money on this. Get my money back on this. I had a Holly Hobby dresser growing up that my mom had decoupaged Holly Hobby uh, fabric on. I have a fond memory of Holly Hobby things from when I was little. Oh, wow. Nice avocado green. Uh -huh, that's really neat. <laughs> Look, they put the sticker right over the um, the image too. Why does Goodwill do that? Yeah, screw on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then blocked who it was. So it says, uh, "Love is the little things you do." The color. And then you could turn it around if you wanted just to have a green. Right. <laughs> Lid. Oh, that's sweet. I've never seen a Holly Hobby ginger jar before. That's really cool. It is. Vintage hobbyist pieces signed and dated, 1974, which was an excellent year, and 1979. Will look festive on a mantle at Christmas. You want to know about that one? Okay. <laughs> Who's going to win first? Oh, aw, that's adorable. 1974, yours 1979. Oh, and those are cute. Wow. I like her little piggy tails. I, and I like how they're white on white. That would look, you're right, that, that would look cute on a mantle at Christmas time. That would look, that's yeah. Cute. And I really, really like that you put a note on each little package. Yeah, right. That's mm -hmm. so interesting. That's okay. so neat. That's a neat idea. It is. When I found the matching sugar and creamer, I had to pick them up. I could hear your voice in my head. Probably not a lot of value there, but they were 75% off. So she's only $1.25 in. Charlie's right here. He wants to get up. So, so Charlie, to the people. Charlie, say hello. <laughs> He's always so loud, and then when you pick him up, he's like, what are you going to do with me? Right, Char? Made in Japan, St. Regis. Oh, I like that. It's very simple. White and gold. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay. It's a very simplistic, elegant look. It is very elegant looking. That's very neat. Nice. That's very neat. It's a nice look to it. Yeah, it's kind of simple. Yeah. Right? Vintage Easter decor in box. Ooh. Never discount the boxes. Video of when we went to visit our friend, and we go to her Goodwill, and toward the end of the video, it was just two pieces of the styrofoam. Yes. And I was like, let me just see what's in here. And it was the Lennox Jeweled Bowl. So you never know what's inside boxes. So it says porcelain bunny bag. Is the porcelain bunny bag in there? That's oh, it is. That's cute. Aw, that's oh, wow. cute. That reminds me of um, Department 56, the snow bunnies. That's really sweet. Mm -hmm. I'll have to see if it can glow from the inside. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe. That's really cute. It's like a little bag. That's sweet. And it comes with a, a box. Yeah. No chips or cracks. It has to be worth more than $1.50. Goodwill charge me for it. It looks like it's a tray. You can come and help us pack up items. Because look at how awesome oh, she is at yes. packing. She knows what she's doing for sure. <laughs> oh, that's wow. cool. Oh, that's really neat. That's neat. It's a little winter cabin. Yeah. This is my cabin in the winter time. It's where I live. I would live there. <laughs> <laughs> Especially now when it's hot. It yes. says St. Nicholas Square Winter Wild Winter White. Oh, it was sold at Kohl's originally for twenty five dollars. That's really neat. That's neat. Yeah. You could keep that out all year uh, yeah. winter long. You know, it's yeah. not it's has not, a little Christmassy there. Yeah, but not overly Christmassy. No. No, the day after kind of Thanksgiving. A, yep. You could put this out and then keep that out until March. That's really nice. You has a little serving tray for mm -hmm. dirt or something. Or snacks. You like snacks? You do. <laughs> I couldn't leave this sweet vintage hobbyist piece behind. Check out the inscription on the bottom. Okay. I would definitely be making a trip back to Missouri after finding this. I know, right? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Great stuff. 
Oh, look, it's a little boot. That's adorable with the nose right there. Oh, let's see. Oh, 1977. Merry first Christmas, Anthony, from Grandma and Grandpa Leopold, it looks like. Oh, that's so sweet. Hmm. That's cute. You could put a little uh, poinsettia in there. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't look Christmassy, you know? No. no. It just has the rose yeah. on it. They, it was given as a Christmas gift. Yeah. That's not overly Christmassy. Uh -huh. No. Mm -hmm. It's just neat. That's cute. I love planners, too. Yeah. Older creamer did not have lid, but no chips or cracks. That's pretty. has a little transferware design on it. And then the airbrushing here around the top. And you can tell it's a transferware design. Well, there's a little bit of scratching. See the little, little oh, bit of the wear? Yeah, very faint. But then if you get a magnifying lens yeah. and you look up close, you can see the dots oh, from the image. That's what I need. Mean. So that's a transfer wear with the airbrushed top. That's a sweet little, little, pretty little vase. Mm -hmm. Little flowers. All right. And then we're on the last thing. That was no, a fun box. That was a busy box. That was a busy box. <laughs> What's going on in there? <laughs> Thought these were fun and vintage. Okay. Oh, the plates. All right, we had to yell the dogs were barking. Okay, this is Andrea Ponche? Maybe. <laughs> John Quill, hand paint. So, Korea, yes. Korea. These are from the wow. 70s, I would guess. That's and it has um, daffodils on there. That's pretty. Sweet. Oh, there's two of them. That's a nice little set. Yeah. Someone might need a replacement, or you might just want some two cute little plates for spring. Yeah, that's very neat. That's pretty. I like those. Yeah, we were just out. talking about, like, when we got married and we were told you have to, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there, that we were told you have to have a fine china set. Right. And you have to have fine uh, silverware. Right. And you have to have everyday china and your everyday silverware. Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah. You need just a set of plates, and right. you can go, unless you do a lot of fancy entertaining, entertaining which right, we don't. Which we don't. But you could go to Goodwill and get a nice vintage set of oh, plates, yeah, or yeah. even fancy. I found Lennox, and like the other day, I found that whole stack of yeah. Nippon if China. If you use it once or twice a year, there's no sense in spending too much money on it because it's, it's you know, go to Goodwill and get something yeah. for a fraction. And that's, a, that's our advice nice. to newlyweds. Yeah. You don't need the fancy fancy. No. Just go to a thrift store and buy fancy, and then right. you don't worry if somebody gets silly and breaks up. Right. So. So thank you very much, Lisa, for sending that big box of fun and all the little notes on it. That was fun. It was like you were here right with us. It was very thoughtful of you to think of us. Yes. And I appreciate beautiful it very stuff. much very sending beautiful. it. Yes. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. Yes. And, and also, too, if, if you are interested in a premiere. Yes, uh, having a premiere know. video, leave a comment. Yeah, leave say, a comment. yes, that's a great idea. And or I comment will, anything else if it's on your mind that you'd yeah. like to see the channel. Or like if a go. premiere would be better to have in the evening time. Than during the day because usually so. I drop them in the morning. I would think like a right. Friday night or a Saturday evening or a weekend. Yeah. So let me know, and if we get enough comments, if anyone or maybe no one's like, no, you don't want to right. see that. But hopefully, a few of you would like to. The three of us will talk. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, that more than three people will show up. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. we hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Charlie, you gonna join us? He is. Okay. okay. And we'll see ya. We'll see ya.